All right, and here we go. We're off for our next adventure, Ranger Lake, Maine. Only five days from our last one, and look, we're going on the next one. Is yeah. everyone prepared? Yeah. yeah. And I'm really ducking into it. And we're off. And here we are, first stop. The McDonald's in town. We haven't made it that far. But everybody's hungry, gotta eat, gotta go. Long trip ahead of us. Let's go. Well, we found them in Acadia, and now we found them at Stoneham, Maine. The big foot. Well worth the stop. Stop the guess. Unbeknownst to me, we have to climb a mountain to get there. Yeah. But as we come to the top, this is what we see. Wait, no, we're climbing the mountain to get there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got This is friggin' insane. Well, we're here. It's just me and my counterpart right now. The rest have gone off to the bathroom, but uh, we've arrived, checked in. Yeah, and now we gotta set up and get moving here. It's like five o'clock. Took us like four hours to get here. Yeah. You, you, know, you didn't like it. Yeah, she didn't like it so much. Beautiful ride. It was, it was a bit of a weird, weird ride. I mean, we saw some of the most amazing, beautiful places and some not so savory places. We went to Mexico, drove through Paris. It was interesting. Fairly quiet, very secluded. Lake is like right there. Yeah, she loves it. Lake is like right there. Yeah? Yeah. She can't wait to get on the little bike cart. Dying. Aren't you? You want to go bike riding? Yeah. See? I know. What do you got to say? Hmm, not much. We've arrived. We've set up. We've all used the bathroom, which are very nice, by the way. Includes free hot shower in the stall. But we've created a very, very bad thing. We have no coffee. Now, me thinking, you know, that's fine. We passed this Dunkin' Donuts. It was in downtown. I had a truck and trailer. Wasn't looking to go downtown. Figured, oh, we'll find one in town up this way. There isn't. Who There's... cares about Who cares about coffee? There's nothing up here at all. We're without coffee. It's not going Who well. Who cares about coffee? The children are not going to come home. is coming along swimmingly we still really need coffee and there was a bit of an incident wasn't there somebody got sliced up when they were trying to grab their pancakes or somebody was cutting them up I think she's okay though you good she's good all right, moving on to bigger and better things. Very, very productive morning. Went down to the lake, did a little swimming, took a nice little bike ride with the family. And uh, then we went to the store because, man, we are in dire need of coffee and ice, and uh, battery was dead. Tell the about, about my new book. And, oh, 
uh, during the bike ride, we got some massive road rash from Harley Ann. That was, yeah, that was, that was good. So we're gonna need medical supplies too. But anyway, the battery's dead. Luckily we had AAA. We're back on the road now. And uh, we're off. Lose control You're sinking in Your dreams is holding on Okay, let's update. We finally found coffee. Yes. Finally found coffee. We're in much better spirits. The headaches are going away. We got ice. Yeah, I, my spirits are much better. But I will be honest, we found ourselves an IGA and if you want a bag of Green Mountain coffee, it is $8.39 a bag, where our Hannaford is $5.99 a bag. Yeah, Dunkin' Donuts is like 12, 11 to 12 bucks a bag. Or if you want to buy a jug, it's 18, yeah, 18 something. So we bought Maxwell House, and hopefully that gets us through for $3.99. This place is amazing. The roads around here are a little weird. They just end. Like we just took this one road, and yeah, it just ends at the lake. That's, that's it. Here you are at the lake. A little weird. So another thing I've noticed about driving around the lake here is all these lake houses, you look down on them, they all have New Hampshire plates. So it's like Mass comes to New Hampshire to buy a lake house and New Hampshire comes to Maine. It's very interesting. I mean, you drive around this town here in Rangeley and there are New Hampshire plates everywhere. All these lake houses. It's an amazing area. Puggles is having an amazing time back there. We're currently walking down to the Appalachian Mountain Trail. We figured, you know what, while we're out here, might as well take it. But man, look at this. I died. I'm going to die if I just slip. I'm just going to fall. We're hiking part of the Appalachian Mountain Trail now. We're not going to make it to Georgia. I'll be honest, it is amazing what coffee can do to you. I am. Yeah. I can go through the whole Appalachian Trail. Ranger just came by and announced free hot dogs at the playground and uh, all hell has broken loose at this campsite and uh, I just just started a nice 
Nice fire with applewood briquettes to boot. But there's free hot dogs. Awesome. They're free. Here we are. It's the dawn of the final day. We've taken a walk down to the lake. It rained. And now we're all sitting around having watermelon. Even her. The girls are off to uh, the shower. And soon it'll be time to pack and go. Good times, good times. Here we are, just relaxing after breakfast at the campsite. Beautiful, bright, sunny day out. Can we already hear the boats running down the lake with skiers and tubers. They just went down to the playground to watch the boats and get hurt, because it's what they do. I didn't mean, I didn't want it. But she did. Just took a couple street bikes down a mountain bike trail. Not going so well. Moving on, time to do dishes. <laughs> you have anything you want to say to the camera? Really? Are you enjoying Rangely Maine? Good. You just have fun? Let me clue you into something that can either make or break your camping trip. A dishwashing station. It saves so much time and energy. All campgrounds should have this. I mean, most, most of the ones we've been to this year actually do have this. I, I enjoyed this. Oh, you want to go take a look at the showers? Let's go take a look at the showers. Look at that. Showers. Running water. Brush your teeth, wash your hands, and a little sauna type thing. And coat racks. I'm really thinking this is... This is good for camping. I'm into this glamping thing. And I think we're talking about upgrading to a bigger camper, which is going to make it even more glamping. I love it. It's just, it's great. Look, and Pucky loves it too. Loves it. Pretty much wraps up our trip up to the Rangeley Lakes. I'd like to thank Dom's Auto Repair and Jeep LLC for helping us out in a bind. I'd like to thank the IGA yesterday for the coffee, but we're currently there now and both machines are bone dry. Drove a half hour of the way just to get some amazing iced coffee and nothing. Well, let's begin this long Rise four hour up. ride home. I'll be honest, I have no idea where we are. Maybe Mexico, Maine, I, I, I don't know, but we came across this. Which is kind of sweet. And all these silhouette things everywhere. I don't know, let's have lunch. All right, that was probably not the best place to have lunch. So we drove down the road a few more miles 
We found this nice little boat launch, carry-in boat launch. And uh, we're probably gonna have lunch here, because man, are they cranky. Perfect canoe boat launch. Wanna see a baby with a gimp hand? Arbor. Say hi. <laughs> little baby gimp hand. So we just took a little detour. Somebody wanted to go see Paris, Maine. It's 15 miles out of our way, so about an hour all the way around. But we did get an iced coffee, so it, it really it cushioned the blow a little. And then there's this beautiful lake. So, you know. All right, final stop, Dairy Queen. We all almost passed out from heat exhaustion. It's currently 93 degrees. We've taken some really back-ass roads in Maine and uh, we're all really hot. Much better now, so finally, let's get home. It's almost five o'clock.